Hey there. Uh, this is the first in a series of presentations uh, chronicling the design and build of a homebrew computer based on the Motorola 6809 CPU that I'm calling the Playground. Um, mainly because I'm terrible at naming things, but also because the whole point of this is to play around and have some fun. So when I was a kid, I, uh, I loved computers. Um, the first computer I ever used was a TRS-80 Model 1, like the one you see here. And um, that's because I had access to those at my elementary school. And um, whenever my dad needed something from our local Radio Shack, because he, you know, tinkered around with electronics from time to time, I would always uh, go down with him so I could play with the computers that were on display. Well, one day, uh, a new machine appeared. It was the 6809-based TRS-80 color computer, and it absolutely captured my imagination. Um, sometimes on Saturdays, I would just ride my bike down to the, to the Radio Shack store. It was only a couple miles from our house. And I'd hang out there all day and uh, type in programs from listings and magazines, and, you know, hopefully had enough time to, to run them before the store closed. Eventually, my family bought one, and it was the first real computer we had at home. Uh, of course, I did a lot of playing around with BASIC and, um, you know, writing book reports and stuff like that. But I also learned how to program in assembly language on this machine. And uh, if you've never written assembly code for 16.9, well, let me tell you what, you are, you are missing out. It's an absolute joy uh, to write code for the CPU, and I kind of want an excuse to do it again. Um, now, if you're not familiar with the instruction set architecture of the 6809, then I highly recommend that you read the three-part article series that uh, Terry Ritter and Joel Boney, who were the architects of the 6809, uh, wrote for Byte, Byte Magazine um, that described the design philosophy. There is a link to it in the description below. Now, I plan to work on the system as a series of building blocks, uh, designing, prototyping, and doing some light testing along the way. And then for each of these modules, I plan to do a video describing uh, how it works, um, and how and why I made the design decisions that I made. I have a pretty good picture in my mind about what I want the system to be, but of course, you know, things can always change when you start diving into the details. I also plan to write some software building blocks, um, including an operating system, a monitor environment, some system libraries, and even a basic interpreter. Obviously, I'm gonna be doing a lot of breadboarding here, um, but I intend to lay out the entire system on an ATX form factor PCB, which will be by far the most complicated board I've ever attempted. Um, and of course, I'm going to be sharing all the design files, and I think it would be super cool if folks out there in internet land decided they wanted to build their own along with me. Uh, so if this sounds at all interesting to you, then by all means, please subscribe to my channel and follow along here on GitHub. And then stay tuned for the first module, which is going to be the clock generator. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.